Well, hey, family, it is great to have you along for today's Daily Dose. Our verse today out of the New Testament comes from Colossians 3.23. It says this, Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. This just isn't working out. The words hung in the air, and it was early in the morning, and my boss had called me into her office immediately when I got to work that day. The words pierced my heart, but I also knew that they were true. That job was not a good fit for me. Not because there wasn't anything wrong with the job itself. It was because I didn't like it. So I didn't give it my best. And as a result, it was being done very poorly. I don't blame my boss for firing me in that moment. The blame rested solely with me. I didn't think much of it at the time. I simply looked for another job, a better job, and one that made me feel good about coming to work each day. A job where I could give it my all. But here's the issue. We aren't supposed to just trudge through our days at work. We're supposed to do everything in our power to be successful, no matter what job we may actually have. We're called to give it our all every day. As our verse today says, work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord. Let's put that in simple terms. Our work life is a form of worship. No, no, we don't worship the job, but the way we approach our jobs is a reflection on Jesus. I know it's a stretch, but bear with me on this one. Let's look at this from a different angle. As the Bible teaches, our lives are supposed to be a living testimony of Christ's love in us, then pouring through us into others. If the only glimpse of Jesus your coworkers or boss gets each day is someone who's tired, grumpy, and does the minimum in their efforts, what does that say about God? Now, having been a manager for over 15 years before I came into the ministry, here's what it would look like to me. If Christians are supposed to be a reflection of God, and I'm constantly harping on them because they're late, they do poor work, they don't get along with their co-workers, and they're disrespectful to me or other managers, I'd get a glimpse of God that wasn't very favorable. I would see no difference between a Christian worker and anyone else who generally hates life. You get the picture? Each day at work, as you clock in for the day, say a prayer. Thank God for the job that you have, and ask Him to help you thrive in it so that he may receive the glory to him and you will be a proper witness. Thank you once again for tuning in to the Daily Dose Podcast. If you're not a subscriber already, it's real easy right there on your podcast app. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when new episodes drop. In addition, I would greatly appreciate it if you share this podcast with your friends on social media. I'd love to have some more listeners along for the journey as well. May you have an absolutely amazing, blessed day. Take care, family.